Hello, welcome to another video. This is a question on the fundamental theorem of calculus part two, but it's a very easy problem because you're not supposed to do any integration. All you have to do is look at what they've given you, add and subtract, and uh, get your answer. Now, usually the only trouble you might run into is because there's so many things scattered and the labeling is so um, terrifying that you might confuse some of the things. So this is what I would recommend you do when you see a question like this. I want you to write a giant integral sign. So let me do it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a giant integral sign and then I'm going to decide what I'm given and what I'm looking for. So here, you're given the same function. They give you the different integral, val integral values within different boundaries, but you're looking for the value of the integral from seven to 13, but they gave you from negative three to five, from five to seven, and from negative three to 13, but this is the one we want. So this is what you do. Look at everything given to you and pick out the smallest value of boundaries Okay, so, or the smallest boundary you can see, or the lowest point. The lowest point I can see here is negative three, so I'm gonna write negative three here. And then look for the highest point on the boundaries, you're gonna get 13. And then, I'm sure there are other points, so I know I see five and I see seven. Where else do I see? That's it, so you have negative three, 13, you see five and seven. And definitely, if you're going up, you're gonna to get to five before you get to, thir to seven. So this is the arrangement. So it simply means, if you go from negative three to five, and you add it from five to seven, and you add from seven to 13, you're gonna get your answer. So what were we given? We were given from five to seven, Oh, we were given from seven to five, it was reversed. But you know that if it is reversed, you can re flip it, okay? And we were given from negative three to 13, and we're asked to find from seven to 13. Well, from seven to 13 is basically, oh, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for this part. So it's basically the total minus this, minus this. You see that? So what we're looking for, we can now say, we can say the integral from seven to 13 of f of x dx is equal to the total, which is equal to the integral from negative three to 13 minus do we have from negative three to seven? If we have that, we'll just use it. We don't have it, but we have negative three to five. Oh, we don't have it. We have from five to negative three. So we have to flip it, which means this becomes a negative 21. So it will be minus the integral from, we're gonna write what we have here. That's negative three to five of, oh, sorry, of f of x dx minus, that's f of x dx, minus from five to seven, the integral from five to seven of f of x dx. Okay, so what we have written is not dependent on this, it's dependent on this giant one that we have. This is f of x dx. So now I need to find all the things that I've got. So I'm looking for this guy. This is gonna be, do I have from negative three to 13? Definitely that's two. Minus, do I have the integral from negative three to five? I don't, but I have from this. So it's gonna be minus. So this minus sign is gonna be minus the integral from five to negative three of f of x dx. Minus, do I have from five to seven? No, I have from seven to five. So it's gonna be the negative of this when I flip it. So it's gonna be minus, again, minus the integral from seven to five of f of x dx. Okay, and we're almost done. So here we're gonna have two 
plus what is the integral from 5 to negative 3? Um, 21. This becomes plus again. And what's the integral from 7 to 5? Negative 11. So that will be plus minus 11. And our answer is 23 minus 11, which is equal to 12. So the integral from 7 to 13 of f of x dx is equal to 12. And that's what you're looking for. So you see, this could be confusing, but make sure you make this giant one, and then you see the region you're looking for, and then use it to answer the question. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. This is Stop Learning, Have Stopped Living. Bye-bye.